So thanks for that then, Ryan. And now it's time for the Latouche Cup, which is a four and a quarter mile. 0 to 160 handicap and the top one is the favourite from last week's Grand National didn't get ran half the course did it Verge for James Shea Firefox Leon Van Rinsburg Sunday Mott for Thomas Rogers River Tyne David Robertson nearly done that Derek Hinton born to perform Stu Gray National Pastime Joshua Sutherland Rezwan Calling Graham Clutterbuck Simple Dutch Paul O'Neill Blooming Chaser Darren Thompson and Ormello Ances Martin Leadham so quite a few long distance races this week they're away and racing in the rain We've got this Latouche Cup over four and a quarter miles. We've also got the Scottish Grand National over four miles. We've got the Irish Grand National over three, five, I think, plus the Whitbread Gold Cup. And we've also got a big Hunter Chase over four mile plus as well. So at the first one then, which is a ditch, they're all safely over it. With big races, we'll have smaller fields this week. And next week, of course, it's the Moore's Millions Finals as well. So it's plenty of work for these long distance chases to do post Grand National and Sunday Mott is in the lead from Simple Dutch in second Verge has gone third Reswan calling another one who fell in the National last week is after that one then Firefox and Blooming Chaser with the River Tyne after that one all men are in the purple jacket in the middle of the pack with Born to Perform in the black with a green sash on the rail and just about the back marker at the moment his national pastime in those black and red Dennis the Menace hoops of Joshua Sullivan as they take the second, which they're all safely over, and they're making their way up the straight then. And as I was saying earlier, a long way from the stand where they're racing, and Simple Dutch has gone on then. Simple Dutch then is taking it up the great from Sunday Mop on the inside in second, then Rizwan calling wider on the track is third, Firefox is tracking that one, then River Tyne and Verge. And another grey blooming chase was on the inside. Nelly done that to moved up on the outside of all mellow ounces and then born to perform on the inside of National Pastime, who is just the back marker then. So the field are pretty nicely grouped as they come down to the third. And a good jump there by Sunday Mops on that one. Just go off into the lead. Right about ahead. Yeah. Racing nicely together, those two. They're about three lengths ahead of Verge, who's top weight again today. Then Rizwan calling them Firefox. Blooming Chaser and River Tyne. A little bit of a gap to all men around. She's nearly done that as they take the fourth. And a mistake there by Born to Perform. I was just seeing that one. Let's tack off the back of the pack by a couple of lengths, but I'm sure we've got plenty of time to get back into it. And Simple Dutch leads by about a head to Sunday Mott as they come down to the next. And over that one they go. Oh, good jump by horse in third verge. And on the outside, Rezwan calling, jumping better today as well. And Firefox and Blooming Chaser. River Tyne and Nelly done that. And the order is pretty much the same as they come down to the sixth, which once again they all jump nicely and continue to make their way through the rain. There's one more week to go in the season after this week. And Simple Dutch is the leader by half a length. Sunday Mott is second and a big gap of about two lengths, I suppose, or three maybe, to Virgin third, then Rizwan calling and Blooming Chaser, and then Firefox and River Tyne and Nilly done that, and then a gap of a length to Wormello Ounces, born to perform a national pastime as they take the seventh, a mistake that time by Wormello Ounces and River Tyne. Wormello Ounces have just shuffled to the back. So next week, maybe the final race for some of these horses, some of course may come back next season. So it tends to be the long distance chases that tend to come back more than anything else as they take the 8th so I'm sure we'll see a few of these back next season and Sunday Mott is in the lead from Simple Dutch in 2nd a bit of a gap back to Verge and then Reswan calling and nearly done that Firefox blooming chasers they take the ninth, which again they're all over nicely with all Meadow Ants is still just the back marker but plenty close enough a long way to go yet they've still got 2.5 miles to go and Sunday Mott leads by three quarters of a length to the grey simple Dutch on his outside. And a gap of about four or five now to Virgin third. And then Reswan Call and Nelly done that is moving closer. Then the second grey is Blooming Chaser. Then Firefox in the blue with the yellow cap. Born to perform is making a bit of a forward move. So to his national pastime, River Tyne has dropped back a little bit. And Ormello Ansons is still the back marker. But apart from that, it's pretty much as you were. Uh, we have been right the way through the race so far with Simple Dutch and Sunday Mock disputing the lead. And they're inching further ahead all the time as they take this ditch. Uh, leads up to about six lengths now, I would say. 
with a simple Dutch taking a little turn to be the leader. Sunday model the inside in just a second, but pretty close order. Just easing off the pace a little bit now, and the pack close a little bit with Virgin Rezwan calling. Nearly done that, and Blooming Chaser. They're the only ones in shot at this stage. It's Firefox and Born to Perform. National Pastime now just creeping into the screen. River Tyler and all Meadow Ances are out of shot. But it's Simple Dutch and Sunday Mott still as they come to the 12th. Oh, and Simple Dutch didn't jump that very well at all. And didn't lose much ground though. And Sunday Mott's only a neck in front. Simple Dutch making it back up pretty easily. They're almost together again. Their lead is now probably down to four. With simple Dutch in third, uh, with Resbon Corner in third, and then Nelly done that fourth. They passed the winning post again. Just one more circuit left to go now, then. And Simple Dutch and Sunday Mott disputing the lead. They shall start racing soon, no doubt. Resbon Corner is third, and Nelly done that fourth. Blooming Chaser is next, then Verge just dropping back a little bit as they take the 13th. Also, if you that one as well, with National Pastime and all Meadow Ounces still the back too. But these two up front are pretty much all their own way. And they're not cutting each other's throats. They're racing nicely together. And Simple Dutch on the outside of Sunday Mock. Gap to Rizbon calling and Nelly done that as they take the 14th. And again, all Meadow Ounces a mistake. Struggling, struggling at the back, that one. And National Pastime is also... Appears to be on much of a going day today, but there's still a good old mile and a quarter plus to go. And Simple Dutch has now gone into a length lead as they take the 15th and jump back really well. Sunday Mott just maybe had a little bit of a breather has dropped back into the pack. And Simple Dutch is now three clear of Sunday Mott. Reswan Corlin is just behind that one. Then comes River Tyne, then comes Blooming Chase, and then Nelly done that as they take that ditch, which they're all so safely over. And National Pastime is now the back marker. And the mile and a quarter still to go then, and Simple Dutch is in the lead by about three or four to Sunday Mott, who is still travelling okay, I think, in the second. Then Reswan Corn is third, River Tyne is fourth, then Firefox getting closer, Blooming Chaser on that one's inside, and right on the inside of that one is nearly done. That's going to need a little bit of racing room. Born to performers been switched to the outside. Verge under a big weight is losing its place. All Mellow Ounces is after that one, and then finally National Pastime is the back marker. So they take the 17th then, and over that one they go, and it's Simple Paul Dutch, who's clearing the lead. Well, a good fall and Sunday Mott now being pressed for second by River Tyne. Then Reswan calling. Firefox is getting into it. The race is now on in earnest as they're inside the final mile. And Simple Dutch is in the lead. Simple Dutch by a good fall and comes to this next one. Takes it nicely. Gets over it well. River Tyne is now landed in second. Verge is losing its place and dropping towards the back. So is National Pastime. But it's Simple Dutch in the lead. And Reswan calling. Blooming Chaser throwing down a bit of a challenge. This is the 19th. And over that one they go. They're all safe near that. Verge is now the back marker. But it's Simple Dutch in the lead from Reswan calling Blooming Chaser. Sunday Mott now coming back into it again after having that bit of a breather. River Tyne is still going well on the inside. Born to perform and Firefox are going to try and slip around the outside. Nelly done that, just did a bit of a flat spot. All Meadow Ounces is still there and now National Pastimes trying to get going. Verge has dropped right out of the back completely but it's Simple Dutch in the lead then from Sunday Mott who's now come back up to join him again as they race down towards his third from home and over that one they go and Sunday Mott landed in the lead this time Sunday Mott is in front now by a length. Simple Dutch is in second. Firefox has moved into third. Then Rezwan calling and River Tyne. Rest of the field beginning to bunch. It's Sunday Mott though who's suddenly shot three clear. Sunday Mott then racing down towards the final two fences. This is the final ditch. Over it he goes. Sunday Mott jumped in really well. Firefox is over it in second. Simple Dutch is still there in third. River Tyne four. National pastimes come from nowhere on the outside. Born to perform is trying to get into it as well. The rest of them probably look beaten but it's Sunday Mott who's in the lead then by three to Firefox in second. Only got one more fence to take and it's Sunday Mott who is three or four clear of Firefox in second. Then comes River Tyne and National Pastime. Then Born to Perform and Rezwan calling. Racing down towards this final fence and Sunday Mott looking like he might only have to jump it to win it. Verge has been pulled up on the back but it's Sunday Mott who comes down to this final fence with a five length lead. Gets over it nicely. Over it 
in second was River Time, then Firefox, National Pastimes trying to close, and then race inside the final furlong. And Sunday Mott, he's a good six lengths clear and looks like he's going to keep up a good run here and race up towards the line and take this one pretty comfortably. Up towards the line, Sunday Mott is going to take the Latouche Cup. Sunday Mott is the winner, he's going to be close for second, but River Time is just going to hold off my fascinating National Pastime. Firefox was fourth, then there is one cooler and born to perform. All oh, Mellow Ants is the last one to finish. Verge under a big weight in testing ground pulled up. And Sunday Mott. A very clever race ran by that one. Disputed the lead all the way around, then took a breather on that final circuit and then cruised back into the lead. A good win. So Sunday Mott takes it for Thomas Rogers. River Tyne for David Robertson was second. National Pastime Joshua Sutherland third. Firefox Leon van Rensburg fourth. Rizwan calling for Graham Clitterbuck was fifth. And that's your day one for today and we'll be back with more action tomorrow.